I don't, I don't know the whole facts of the situation, but I think I've Googled more on to find out the exact um, <laughs> the exact meaning and it's obviously stupid person. I think that's harsh. I feel that Simon does say some good stuff, doesn't he, when he speaks. He's a um, very clever man, says some good stuff, but he just sounds to me like a, a bitter ex-club owner who, you know, it didn't go well for him at Palace in the end, dislikes players. You could just pitch and negotiate a contract with him, Al. Cass. You know what I mean? It'd be a nightmare. You'd be like, you want? No, you're not having that. Not a chance. <laughs> so for me, like, um, I thought that it was shocking from Simon. I mean, every player doesn't mind being criticised by the media. But when you start name-calling, I think it's too much. So for me, not acceptable from Simon. Should apologise to Jack. And then um, even Jim, Jim White's comments when he said it, defending Jack. He knows Jack's a good lad. Like, so I just don't understand how you can just go in on someone Cash. that harsh. Was it a bad call by you, Mr. Jordan, calling Jack a moron? I think it's a fair observation based upon his behaviour. I'm not saying that Jack Grealish is a nasty, unpleasant individual. Mm. I'm not attacking his personality. I'm talking about his behaviour. Yeah. If you repeatedly put yourself in the way, if you do things once, it's a mistake. If you do things twice, you start to move into the foolish territory. If you do things three or four times and, and garner and gain the same attention for the same sort of behaviour, then where else do you move? You move into the territory of being being moronic in your behaviour and a moron by definition. Mm. Now, you know, I know that people don't like that and I know it's strident and it's... It, well, I was told this morning by someone that listened to the show that Danny, um, that Gabby had made some observations yeah. about me and defending his friend and I understand that. The bottom line is, is a kind of irony about being offended on someone else's behalf about someone calling somebody a name whilst calling them a name in return. Mm. I think that might have evaded Gabby when he was talking about me being bitter and twisted and a failed owner or whatever else it is. And isn't, listen, well, I can't... I can't a voice opinion on someone else and then not accept the fact that people will voice an opinion on me.